the origin of the Earth is magnetic field. A magnetic field is due to charges in motion. Where do the charges come from? Repeated ionization and separation of charges is the answer. The positive charges will remain where they are formed, but the electrons are approximately a thousand times lighter and will be subjected to radiation pressure as well as the electrostatic forces. Therefore, they will be forced radially outward and form a spherical shell around the central region of the Earth and with the Earth's rotation a normal magnetic field appears. A magnetic field will have lines of forces which do not exist except in the mind of the novice. Entering from below and exiting at the North Geographic Pole, then looping around and then entering from below again. This is a field as it exists today and is referred to as a normal field. However, this is not the only field. There is also the reverse field due to positive charges rotating, the spherical shell of electrons. This concentric spherical shell of electrons plays a very important part in the Earth's magnetic field and will be enumerated below. Number one, relativity plays a role in the behavior of the shell of electrons. If the shell was at the surface of the Earth, then there would be no magnetism produced and as the shell moved inward toward the center of the Earth, the magnetism would increase accordingly. Number two, if the shell increased, then the magnetism would decrease, and if the magnetism decreased enough, then there would be a magnetic reversal to reverse field. And if the shell decreased enough, then the magnetism would increase, and there would be a reversal back to normal. The electrons maintain their radial position because of the balancing of radiation pressure with the electrostatic attraction of the positive charges in the center of the Earth. The repulsive force between electrons prevents a field of up, build up of electrons in the shell. If, number five, if the internal heat is too great, a reversal, reverse field is experienced. Likewise, if the internal heat is too small, the shell will decrease and a reversal, normal field, will occur. Items to discuss. Heat input into the Earth's positive ions are moving in a magnetic field, global warming, field reversal, and global cooling. I can make a suggestion about global cooling and heating. Global heating is when there is a normal field and the positive charges are rotating due to the Earth's rotating around the axis of rotation. This motion of positive charges rotating in a normal field will produce a force on these positive charges which will add to the heating of the interior of the Earth. Now when the Earth's magnetism, magnetic field reverses to reverse field, then this motion of positive charges no longer exists and global cooling will begin.